a locomotive weighing more than 200 tons on its side and freight cars off the rails next to the Norfolk Southern Main Line in Hiram, Georgia. This is the aftermath of a derailment that happened around 10.30 p.m. on Saturday, November 27, 2021. These dramatic pictures, courtesy of Paulding County Fire Rescue, show the scene that night. You can see two of the locomotives actually remained upright after jumping the tracks. The train crew was taken to the hospital and later released according to local news reports. They were headed north, and the line here goes to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Local media reports indicate the train was pulling a total of 88 cars. This all took place near the Main Street grade crossing in downtown Hiram. I got here about 15 hours after the train derailed. Crews had already laid new track and were working on spreading ballast. There appeared to be a vacuum truck sitting next to the overturned locomotive. According to the local news, some diesel fuel was spilled after the accident happened. A locomotive like this can hold 5,000 gallons of fuel. This was a mixed freight train and it looks like one of the cars was hauling telephone poles. As for the locomotives, NS8133, a GE ES44AC, was missing its rear truck, a number board, and possibly its left windshield from what I could see. Nearby, locomotive trucks were sitting on the ground behind NS3629. It's a newer GE ET44AC. Meanwhile, from my vantage point, I could see number 9759, a GE C40-9W, had damage on its right side near the cab windows. Crews weren't focused on the locomotives or rolling stock at this point. They were trying to get the tracks back open. Two maintenance of way machines showed up around 2.30 Sunday afternoon. About 45 minutes later, a train was about to move in. Sir, when you come by, make a little noise and y'all be safe. Hands out. Make some noise. I can't say for sure, but this may have been the first train to run over the line since the accident. Around 40 minutes later, this empty plant shearer coal train was passing by at restricted speed. There's no telling how much money the railroad loses having a line closed for any amount of time. Now, the cause of all this is unclear, but let's take a look at the track in this area. It looks like there was a switch on the curve here, and I think those are the remnants of that switch near these overturned covered hoppers. You can see the cars hauling this pre-assembled track are now cut off from the main line. They appear to have sections of a panel switch on them. There's no doubt crews will be out here for a while cleaning all this up. There's a good bit of damage, but the good news is no one was seriously hurt. Look, I know you guys want to know what caused all this, and so do I. Railroads report the findings of their investigations to the FRA, so once those findings are released, I'll post them in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.